Hello everyone, I am Dr. Santoshi Nandigam, Consultant Obstetrician and Gynecologist in Cadence Hospital, Skotambakam, Chennai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Most women pregnancy, they have really good looking glowy skin and shiny hair. If you have a glow and happy, you will have a glow reason to tell you why you are going to die. The reason for the glow is because of increased oil production in the face. Increased oil production called as sebum. So unfortunately, when you come to the cell, there is an increased oil production in the face. So on one end of the spectrum, you have women who are really glowy, really shining, giving out the pregnancy glow. And on the other end, you have the women who have a lot of acne, they're really, uh, you know, disappointed and depressed with the way the skin is reacting to the pregnancy. Now, what can we do to reduce the acne or prevent the acne in pregnancy? Here are my five rules to be followed to reduce or manage the acne in pregnancy. Point number one. Have a consistent skincare routine with a gentle cleanser. It's really difficult for us to have a, a consistent skincare routine with our day-to-day -day activities. We are busy in life. But that's what we can concentrate on. Skincare routine. Now, if you look pregnant patients, uh, eight of them don't have a skincare routine at all. Why do you follow a skincare routine? Why do you apply a moisturizer? Well, your skin is very forgiving. So, it's the most exposed organ in your body. So, you need to give it some kind of respect. Gentle cleanser is what is required for you to, um, you know, get done with those acne. So, the cleanser that I use and very, very safe in pregnancy is that of um, Estee Lauder. It's completely your choice. There are so many available options in the market. Uh, and I will make a detailed video of the recommended products um, in pregnancy. But uh, for this video, gentle cleanser once or maximum twice a day. That's not necessary at all. Point number two. Sell a woman ka vandha hairline area la acne varudhukku vibe irukku. Yeh apadhi varuna because they keep sweating in the scalp that causes acne in the hairline. So, to prevent this, you need to shampoo your hair minimum once in every three days, the required uh, to prevent the hairline acne. Number three, pick panna dinga. Don't pop a pimple. I know you can get a little impatient and the pimple notice panna le, ayyo, eppada pogo, edhukda eppo vandarsha, edhavad nama important or function ka poro, important uh, meeting poro na, that day you, a pimple starts popping up and you really want to do something to get done with it. Don't pop it. Don't do anything. It's not necessary to apply all those uh, spot treatments or acne patches and all, which might not even be safe. Stop popping your pimples. That is absolutely essential. Point number four. Watch out on what kind of cosmetics that you're using. You know, some women are everyday makeup kind of uh, women. It might, you know, you might uh, have to go to work uh, with appropriate makeup, with basic makeup on your body. So right from the foundation to concealer to uh, primer to a setting spray, always make sure these products are oil-free and water-based. Don't really want to mess up with your skin by using more of oil-based uh, makeup products because that's only going to aggravate your acne. Oil-based products that you use, you can use the acne aggravate the So try and use makeup products including sunscreen, moisturizer, uh, foundation, concealer with say water-based organic products. The fifth and the most important one is the food that you eat and lots of hydration. Well, food at the end of the day acts on every part of your body. Skin is no exemption to it. There are certain food products which trigger your acne. Mm, you know, teens come uh, under. I've, I've seen patients who come to me and said, Doctor, even junk sapta, rumba acne I'm noticing a lot of acne because of uh, the junk or lots of ghee sapta acne varudhu enna pannala so you always can identify what is triggering your acne along with three liters of water dry skin is not you know your friend here when you're in pregnancy so try and drink at least three to four liters of water and good nutritious food 
identify your triggers and probably can avoid those triggers through the pregnancy. Thank you so much.